Let's imagine a new screenwriter has their screenplay bought or optioned. So everything's going great, and then they are fired off the project. Is this a good thing? Yes. It's an amazing thing. It's how my writing career started. Because <laughs> you're in the system now. And again, it's a business, right? So you knew you do something great. They give you a deal, which is awesome. They give you money because that's what comes with the deal. And that's awesome. And then you're in the mix of it and you're learning how they operate by the notes that they give you. And now other people in the industry know that you're working for this studio. So they're going to want to meet with you because you're working on this project that was just announced in the trades. And now people know what's going on with you. Like you're in the mix. You're in the game now. And then they get to a point where you do the writing and they look at it and they go, this was my personal experience when I sold I Would Die For You to Columbia. They were like, wow, this is coming together. Like we can start seeing this as a movie. So since we start seeing it as a movie, now let's get some real people in here to get it done. So they fired us. It's business. It's insurance. You know what I mean? You're talking about millions of dollars. You know what I mean? Most people won't give their best friend two dollars. <laughs> right? So you're talking about millions of dollars that are going to be spent on these 100 and some pages. They need to make sure that that money is going to turn into more money. And oftentimes with a new screenwriter, that means firing that screenwriter, bringing on a new one that's already been in the mix. Maybe they've written two or three films that have been greenlit. Maybe the last thing that they wrote was a big hit. Maybe they wrote and directed a big indie thing that blew up at Sundance. It's an insurance policy for the studio. So that the studio feels more comfortable at going forward with the piece. It's not a bad thing. It's never a bad thing. It's a bad thing if you look at it like a bad thing. But really, it's you're in the mix now. You know what I mean? You can take that sale and turn it into all kinds of stuff. Especially broken record if you have more material. <laughs> it's so important. That's why I keep saying it. It's super important. You got to have more stuff. You know what I mean? You just that's just it's the nature of the beast. It's the nature of the beast. There are millions and millions of dollars to be made. You got to have more stuff. When you're turning in that first draft and you're giving it to whomever you're working with, is it, would you say you trust somebody who's just more brutally honest with you than somebody who wants to be nice and keep the relationship going, but maybe they dance around things and they're not? I think you want, listen, you don't want somebody that's just gonna like trash you, right? Cause that just kills the confidence. But you also don't want somebody who's gonna like pussyfoot around you, you know, and not really give you the real. So I think it really does come down to developing relationships with people through your writing. I mean, I haven't always had the pleasure to be able to just trust that I can deliver that first draft and we'll be able to rock out. Like I haven't always had that situation, but I have it with these people because we're just so keyed into one another. Like we are, we'll, we'll have meetings and they'll go for like four or five hours. And we have a blast. You know, we all share the same sense of humor. We all share the same basic, you know, belief system. We all have the same basic values. We all see the world essentially the same way. So it is a very unique situation for me because I trust those guys. I can, I can say like, boom, here it is. This is what I'm thinking. What do you guys think? And then they'll come at me and they'll be like, all right, let's do this and this and this and this and this and this. It's like, you know, listen, it's absolutely not normal. It's absolutely not the way it goes. But because I have this relationship with them, if I'm wrong on the first draft, all by myself, I might be wrong on the second, third, fourth, right? all by myself. 
But because I have this team that I trust, that knows what I want my end result to be, let's get in the first draft. Let's, let's just get on with it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And, you know, we'll get to the point where it's right. Then we get there a little quicker than me sitting around agonizing over, oh, am I, did I do this right? Am I wrong? I don't know. I have the luxury of not having to do that. It's nothing I would tell anybody else to do. It's nothing I would recommend for anybody else. Um, I just happen to be very fortunate to have lucked into the right folks for me.